Hello VC, welcome back. Today, next round in the analog production series. Today, with two big rock, bluesy country groups. First, we start with Lynyrd Skynyrd and then uh, go over to Blood, Sweat and Tears. But let's start with Lynyrd Skynyrd, the four editions from Analog Productions. And maybe up front I would like to tell you that Lynyrd Skynyrd here in Germany and I think uh, in, in, in Europe are, are not that famous. I, I think not many people will know them as a group. Probably there is one song nearly everybody knows up to a certain age in, in my age category and that's Sweet Home Alabama. Of course this is a very famous song but most of, of the people who knows the song here in, in Germany or in Europe wouldn't know that this is a song from, from Lynyrd Skynyrd. But anyhow, I think it's a gorgeous band. I really like their music, the southern rock blues country music. It's quite entertaining and like most of the time, Analog Productions did a great job. First edition we talk about is pronounced Lynyrd Skynyrd first album. Those editions are all 45 rounds per minute and crafted in the usual perfect manner from <coughs> analog productions. Gorgeous, gorgeous sounding editions. Still good availability. If you want to get into them, you won't have big problems. They are out there up to now. I'm, I'm talking about end of August 2020. This will of course change the moment they are getting out of print. Then the Discogs flippers will have their party time because I think those classic editions are going up quite a bit when they are not in print anymore. And I don't know how long that will take. So this was the first album of, of Lynyrd Skynyrd. It came out in 1973. Second album is called Second Helping. We go 245 round per minute. 180 gram vinyls, again a gorgeous sounding edition, beautiful. They have gotten more into to the laminated part. Uh, 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 this was the time when they released uh, 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 Analog Productions. Didn't do it very often, but, but still. Very beautiful editions, all gatefold cover, all 45 round per minute. And on this second helping is at least this, the most famous song here in Europe from them, Sweet Home Alabama. Little earworm, beautiful song. And this is a beautiful, beautiful edition. Number three of the four, which came out over at Analog Productions. Nothing fancy. This one came originally out in 1975. Yeah, the gatefold edition. And again, if you are into Linux Skinnet, if you don't have their editions or, or care for a good sounding version, the analog productions editions are a good tip go into them, you can't go wrong. The fourth album in the analog production series is this one. Give me back my bullets. Again, gatefold edition. And if you want to try out one or say, okay, I, I take one, one record and, and uh, it's enough for me with, with the Lynyrd Skynyrd. Sound-wise, I would recommend this one. It's an incredible good sounding 
expedition. I'm quite sure, of course, I haven't gone through all the, in, in this case, for example, 97 editions which came out over the years on, on vinyl uh, or CD of, of this, this record, of this album, but it can't get much better. I'm, I'm sure that an original pressing, if you get a clean copy, is not better sounding than these editions. This is one of the best sounding rock albums I own. It's gorgeous. If you want to go with one, I would recommend this edition. Although there is a fifth audiophile edition, but this, the fifth audiophile edition from the album Street Survivors, this came out over at MoFi. So I can't put it in here because it's MoFi, not analog production. And this is from the recording which, which came out shortly before this tragic airplane accident where, where several people died, several got heavily injured, where they have to change the cover because the, on the cover was, were, were flames. And so they changed it. The MoFi edition is the cover with the flames. So there is a fifth <coughs> Lynyrd Skynyrd audiophile edition from MoFi, also a good one, but we go into this, edi this edition in, in another uh, 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 video. So these are the four highly recommended vi uh, 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 audiophile editions from Analog Productions. And with all four records, you can't go wrong. The best sounding one is this Gimme Back My Bullets. So that's it for the Leonard Skinner edition. And the second band we talk about today is Blood, Sweat and Tears. And what I have here is the Analog Productions box from the band Blood, Sweat and Tears called Bloodlines. And this is, I don't know if it's officially still in print, but it's, the availability is, is, is okay. I'm quite sure that this one won't be out there for long. So if you consider going into the box, now is the time. This box set contains four of their records, comes with a nice little booklet, which talks about all the changes and, and the things that happens between these four albums. And the box set starts with this beautiful edition, Child is Father to the Man, Blood, Sweat and Tears. Also Gatefold 45 rounds per minute edition. Beautiful sounding record. Very, very good record. If you like those, this kind of music, it's no question. And I think this is also, again, the edition to go for. And the second one is Blood, Sweat and Tears, self-titled album. And this is one of my favorite records. Interesting, this second uh, album from Blood, Sweat and Tears will probably come out as one of the next MoFi One Steps. And this will be quite an, an interesting comparison because this is a gorgeous sounding edition. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous sounding record and a great record. And so I can't wait to get out to, to that, the, that the MoFi One Step will come out. It's not officially announced yet, but there are rumors about three MoFi One Steps. One is this one, Blood, Sweat and Tears. Then there probably will be an Electric Light Orchestra edition and a Paul Simon one step, one of his earlier records before he did Graceland, not Graceland. One earlier and I think Electric Light Orchestra, Blood, Sweat and Tears and Paul Simon are great titles for, 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 for a movie. But today we talk about analog productions, Blood, Sweat and Tears. This is my personal favorite album from, from this band. Great one. 
beautiful, beautiful record. Beautiful songs. The music is outstanding. An outstanding record. The third record, and they really was creative with their titles, is Blood, Sweat and Tears 3. Yes, the cover. Like so. You can see that. Again, gatefold. Beautiful edition, beautiful sounding record. Not as good as the second one, but still a great record. I like it. And the fourth one, guess how it's titled? Yeah, Blood, Swell and Tears 4. It's a nice record, gorgeous sounding record. Comes within the box. The whole box set is, in my opinion, outstanding. To have such a gorgeous uh, sounding box of blood sweat, is, as blood, sweat and Tears is pure beauty. It's beautiful to have these records in your shelf and whenever you want you can hear these outstanding recordings in a gorgeous quality. So what can there be more beautiful in life than that? Okay, there may be a few things. But those are not the things we talk about in my channel. <laughs> so, okay, that's it with uh, Lynette Skinner and Blood, Sweat and Tears from Analog Productions. Another book closed. The next book slash part will come very soon. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please put down your comments below so that we, that we can discuss. A little I really love your comments they are for me so in so much in they contain so much information and I, I've learned from so many of your comments so I really want to say thank you for your great comments I really love to discuss with you and let's keep up that and thank you for your time see you on my next video bye